Mabu, hi. This is Bob from Love Bend the Sea. My channel is about marriage to a woman from the Philippines. The topic today is, do you feel like you might be with the wrong Filipina? I made a video recently. I don't, I'm not sure when I played it, uh, since I make a few videos ahead. And it was on um, intuition. And so this kind of relates to that. Um, some signs that, you know, if you feel bad about this, probably others will be able to notice that there's something wrong with the relationship. So please subscribe here and leave a comment. Maybe you can relate to this. This is from an article. I'm just going to skim over it from, um, get rid of pop-ups, yourtango.com by Dr. Alicia or Alicia H. Clark. The first one they list here of seven in that article is a way to, to show that um, you know, they're not the one. Now, they come from a female perspective, so if I say he's not the one, you know, that's just the way it was written. It can really go both ways. So number one, or the first one listed, you feel frustrated and confused by their actions. It says, uh, by your man's actions, I'm going to change that to your uh, their actions as in your Filipina. And they say they might say all the right things, but their actions don't align. And then you're left feeling baffled and frustrated and neither feeling is going away. Reality check. When it comes to communication and trust, no better predictor, predictor of um, their future behavior than their behavior right now. When words and actions don't line up, it's so tempting to focus on the pretty words. But the truth is always found in their actions. Actions seldom lie, and they speak loud and clear. So a good way to know that when you're looking for a woman overseas in the Philippines is to spend time with them. I mean, there really isn't much of a there's always so far you can get online doing video cams and you should go to video as soon as you can and try to do that regularly throughout the week. I would think, you know, if you think you've got something going, you want to make it consistent. And, but there's always so much you can use, but even so, just make sure that their actions are consistent, even at that level. And if they seem to be, then certainly that would be a good time to not wait too long to go over there and meet her. I would think within, gosh, six months, you should be able to, if you're really eager to get married, six months, that should be enough time before you go out there and uh, meet them to see how they really are and meet their family. And number two, they make excuses, or excuse me, you make excuses for her all the time trying to change this into so it fits my channel well the ideas come here from your tango.com so if you're making excuses for her then um, that's uh, that's a sign that something isn't right they say no matter what he does or they do or don't do uh, whether it's standing you up at the last minute forgetting your birthday you make excuses for them and to anyone and everyone, including yourself, even though you know that behavior isn't right. Instead of trying to resist what's happening, try bravely listening to your fears and concerns. What truths are you avoiding when you shine over their behavior with excuses? True. Not much I can add to that other than it helps to be talking about your relationship with a woman overseas with somebody else that knows you well, keep them well informed. And then if they kind of say, well, I think you're kind of making excuses for her because remember you said back then, you know, if they start saying that a few times, they're probably on to something. Number three, your feelings of self-doubt self -doubt and insecurity keep growing. I'm going to have to just break away here and not read everything because I, I really want to just talk about their topics here, the the points, because they are, they are true. Feelings of self-doubt and insecurity keep growing. I mean, it's okay 
in my words now, early on to have some doubts. I mean, they are probably thousands of miles away unless you're already living in the Philippines, which most of us aren't. And um, communication can be rather limited early on, but you do your best you can to keep up with text messages and go to video cams. But if um, after a reasonable time, I don't know how many video cams that is or how many months, but after a reasonable time, if you still have this lingering, nagging doubt that you are talking to somebody that is truly sincere about their relationship with you, that would be a sign that they probably aren't and you've been giving them enough rope and that doesn't seem to be helping. Things aren't getting better and this feeling kind of doesn't go away. That's something to watch out for. And so this is about ways to know that maybe this Filipina is not right for you from this article on yourtango.com. The fourth thing there is you start believing it's you. If you find yourself, they say, endlessly wondering what you can do or be that will make you more appealing to, I will say, her, something is off. If when they pull away, you only wonder what you did to cause it. To, you know, you're taking an unhealthy amount of responsibility for what should be a shared relationship. And this person might even tell you that their behavior was your fault. Have you heard that or listen to ways you aren't good enough for them? And they say words can lie. And so either through their help or, or without it, you start believing that this issue is you. I don't know why somebody would want to blame themselves, but some people do easily uh, have self-doubt, maybe low self-esteem, and, and maybe they say, well, they must be right, you know, it must be me. Again, if you're talking with somebody else about your relationship and you go over things regularly and you don't hide things from that person, they can probably spot this in, in your communication with them that you're taking on more of a burden than you deserve. Fifth thing, you feel lonely and invisible when you're with that person. Lonely and invisible when you're with that person. And they say um, it's lonely when they avoid you, but if you also feel lonely when the two of you are together, this may mean that they are the other person is incapable of letting you in. And no, this isn't because you're just too needy. Loneliness is often more about the company we keep than whether we're truly alone. And to wrap it up, wrap it up here, a couple more. Number six, you refuse to see the other person's limitations as permanent. And the seventh one, you are afraid of being single. And so, I mean, this will be me talking here because I didn't like being single for like, I don't even say it anymore. It's so embarrassing for so long before I got married. You can find that in some of my older videos. I didn't like being single. I don't know if I was afraid of it. I just didn't want to be alone the rest of my life. And finally, I was able to get married back in 2015. But, I mean, I have to admit, you know, if you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself to get unsingle and get married, then that could cause you to miss a lot of signs that um, you should see and that the people you know, that know you and love you can see, but you can't because you might be thinking, you know, something like, well, this has to work. This has to work. I'm desperate. I don't want to keep looking. This has to work. And um, that is not a good place to be in. So let me know what your thoughts about this to know whether or not you are with the right Filipino here on Love Beyond the Sea.